All right. Good day, everybody. So, I got a message out there for everybody that considers themselves important or that considers, you know, people like me not at all important. Now, you may disagree with what I have to say. That's your opinion. But if there's one thing that absolutely pisses me off more than anything is, well, let's see here. People who loves loitering their power over others. I despise them. I absolutely do. And my only message to folks as like, oh, I don't know, lawyers, judges, people who works in the district attorney's office, you name it, to call you out personally, I must remind you, you are all royalty in today's time. And if you live in the state of Louisiana, you know, calling out you know, everyone that lives in the state of Louisiana that is lawyers, judges, district attorney, you name it. Like I said, Louisiana used to be a part of France. And I don't have to give you a you know history lesson, but I'll do it any damn ways. France chopped the heads off of their royalty back in a day. Now... What does this mean about our district attorneys and, you know, judges and, you know, governors and whatnot? Oh, it's simple. You see, Louisiana is suffering from, you know, corruption. You know, it's suffering from, you know, people who are too big for their own, you know, too big for their own britches. Metaphorically speaking, you know, and I want to be real with you. If you disrespect, you know, if you disrespect the people that you are supposed to be for representing and whatnot, if you disrespect the very people that, you know, that you, you know, district attorneys, lawyers, judges, governors, you name it, you know, you're, you're supposed to represent the people in the people's interests. Not the rich man's interests, not the interests of, you know, one particular group, but everyone in that territory that you are governing. You know, and you have to be biased, too. That's how I view it. But, you know, the thing is that when the people get sick and tired of their leaders, they revolt, rightfully so, <clears throat> rightfully so. So with that said, <clears throat> you know, don't be surprised if you find your heads on the chopping block when the time of revolution comes because here's the thing it will come you know people are getting sick and tired of you know not being able to trust their own government people are getting sick and tired of said government not you know in Louisiana's case instead of properly repairing the roads or implementing policies that makes it easier to live in Louisiana, you know, everything from shutting down to, like, shutting down, you know, gas and oil refineries in the name of green policies, obviously, majority of it by the federal government, you know, the list goes on, all right, you know, Louisiana is basically 
estate, in my eyes, that needs reform. In fact, the United States as a whole needs reform. You know, because it's corrupt. You have to be rich to get by nowadays. Yeah, and don't don't mistake me for a left wing communist communist pig or whatnot. No. I'm as capitalistic as you can get, but if you you know, come after me and make it you know difficult for me to live, then you are on my shit list. You know, you and more or less the people, you know, that is in power of Carlo Parish more precisely is on my shit list. You know. So when civil war breaks out, it will not matter what side, you know, they are on. You know. I will always, you know, let me put it like this. If my enemy is on the side of the Republicans and a civil war breaks out, then I'll consider myself a Democrat so the Democrats won't kill me. You know, so I can have a, you know, justification for killing my enemies, you know, when a civil war breaks out. If the civil war breaks out and my enemies are for Democrats, then I'm going to be for the Republicans so I can justify in killing, you know, my enemies. Plain and simple. But to be fair and honest, if a civil war breaks out, I will not be for anyone but myself. You know. And of course, as we all know, if shit keeps hitting the fan in the United States, there's going to be one. Whether people like it or not. If there isn't one, then, well, then the health of this entire country would have you know, let alone the entire world, well, let's just say, if there isn't a civil war, it would be actually very concerning, because people, because that would tell me that people are fine with how things are going, and how corrupt our entire system is becoming, all in the name of safety, fuck safety. I want to be able to bitch slap a nigger with the, you know, without needing to go to prison. I want to be able to settle a score without going to prison. You know, preferably without murder. You know, murder should still be considered illegal, but bitch slapping somebody because they need to be bitch slapped, well, I think that should not be illegal. And there's folks that desperately needs to be absolutely bitch slapped. Nay, nigga slapped, which is a lot worse than bitch slap. 